George the Hero Hound by Jeffrey Ebeler. George was a good old hound dog. Every day George was up, even before the chickens, to help old Farmer Fritz with the chores. That rust bucket tractor was always falling apart, and those wily cows were always plotting to get out and feast on the cornfield. But George didn't mind a whit, as long as he got his afternoon nap. He had a good life for a hound dog, until the day old Farmer Fritz decided to retire and move to a cabana on the beach where they didn't allow cows, they didn't allow pigs, and sad to say, they didn't even allow dogs. Sorry, boy, I need you to look after the farm. George was left in the dust, but not for long. Nothing could have prepared George for the Gladstone family. They'd packed up their noisy apartment in the city and bought Fritz farm. Cows, pigs, George, and all. Look, we have a dog. I wonder what his name is. Owen, oh, keep an eye on your sister. Can I name him? George could tell right away that the Gladstone family would need a whole heap of help. There'd be no afternoon naps on the porch for a while. Could someone please hand me a wrench? Thanks. I can't figure out why this tractor won't start. Oh, this looks important. It works. Hiya, Pooch. I didn't see you there. You're the same color as all these old parts. Maybe we should call you Rusty. Stop! Crash. George watched as the tractor went clean through the fence, but he wouldn't let the cows get away on his watch. He spent the next couple hours trying to herd those sneaky cows back into their pen where they belong. George was tuckered out. All he wanted was a cool drink of water and to sneak a few winks in the shade. Look at my floor. You are the dustiest dog. I ought to call you Dusty. George is swept out of the house in a cloud of dust. George shook himself off and was just padding toward his favorite shady spot when he spied something blue. Then Owen came running over. I was supposed to be watching my baby sister Olive. Can you help me find her, boy? George took a good sniff of Olive's ribbon. He was a hound dog after all, and off they went. After searching high and low, they finally found that pint-sized rambler. Wow, good boy, you tracked my sister across every corner of this farm. We should call you Rover. George had saved the day. As he trotted back home, George was sure he would finally, definitely get his well-deserved nap. Until... Crash! Splat! Red! Olive just said her first word. Maybe we should call you Red. From that day on, George didn't get many afternoon naps, but he didn't mind too much. Turns out that he liked hurting Olive a lot more than he liked hurting cows. And since George figured the Gladstones needed some tips on how to run the farm, he vowed to teach them everything he knew especially how to deal with those crafty cows. He even hatched a plan to drum up business. Hi there, George. Thanks for the delivery. Now, if only George could teach his new family one last thing. His name. The End.